Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're going to create this look right here. I know guys that this is another red eyeshadow look, but it's fall and I love it. I use this new palette right here. This is the So Jaded Kathleen Lights times ColourPop Cosmetics. And this is another collab with Kat Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. 30 eyeshadows. This is the first mega palette from ColourPop. Compared to their single shadows, these are smaller. These are the medium sized one. The smaller size are the ones that you can find from the nine shadow pan palettes. But this size is the one you can see from the 16 pan palettes. They're medium size. They're actually good size. This one is $39. I created this look for fall and also just to go with this palette. Because look, look at the palette. It's so pretty. Like my eyeshadow. The mauve. I like that shade. This is a halo look. If you like to learn and see how I created this look, stay tuned. Alright, for my primer, I'm going to use this All Star from ColourPop. This is the Matte Blur Primer. It says here to apply thin layer over your gorgeous moisturized skin. Allow it to set for a minute and apply your foundation. So I have to put on moisturizer. For my moisturizer, I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown Vitamin C Moisturizer. This is the Vitamin Enrich Face Base. All right, all moisturized. I'm going to apply the ColourPop All Star Primer. So today, ColourPop launched another primer. I got it, I hope. It comes in really soon so I can try it here on my channel and show you guys. My face really feels soft, smooth, and matte. Also, it blurred my face. Does this have blur? Yeah, it's matte blur primer. Wow, this is actually pretty good. It does what it says. For my foundation, I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Coverage. This is the color Warm Beige, and I'm gonna mix it with the Morphe Highlighter Drops Illuminator Liquid. This one is Flare. So I'm going to just shake it, both of them shake it. I'm gonna need three or two and a half skirts for right now. And then I'm just gonna add as we apply it. This one is Flair from Morphe. It's like a rose gold. There's a nice pink tint, golden pinkish tint. This is gonna be my mix for today. I'm gonna use this to mix it. Or you can just use your finger. Okay, I'm gonna use my finger to distribute the foundation. Now I'm gonna blend it with my Beauty Blender. For my concealer, I'm going to use KKW Beauty. This is the shade number nine, and also I'm gonna use number eight for highlight. I always use this two for combo. I use number nine first. That's number nine, and I'm gonna blend it with my Beauty Blender again. Make sure that your Beauty Blender is damp so it doesn't suck in all your product that you put on your face. And then I'm gonna use number eight just to highlight some spots like here, inner corner of my eye, on my chin, and on top of my lip, and right here. Then to contour, I'm going to use the Infallible Concealer. This is the 24 hour wear, full wear. This one is in Honey 415. I don't need a lot because this is a concealer. It's very pigmented. So I'll just start with a little bit and as we go, I'm gonna add more if I needed to. This is the famous It Cosmetics brush number seven. It's the dual ended brush. I'm gonna use this to blend the concealer that I just put. I like to start on my hairline, going down, blending it. To 
set my concealer, I'm going to use this KKW Beauty baking powder. This is number two bake. It's a loose powder. It's just setting powder. I'm gonna get a puff and I am a fan of using puff with my setting powders. I'm gonna put that under my eye, but first I'm going to blend the crease because you already creased my concealer already creased i'm gonna blend that and put this amazing brightening powder this is number two and it's very brightening i also have number three but i feel that i'm in between number three and number two so i have them both and this one has like extra brightening and that's what I want right now for my, my under eye. I'm also gonna put that on my nose. Ooh, that's a nice straight line there. All right, and then I'm gonna get number three. This is the setting powder, number three. It's the yellow one. Number two is the pink one. So I'm just gonna use this right under the pink and everywhere else that I put concealer. So you see how yellow is not showing a lot on my skin and pink is really brightening. All right, next I'm going to bronze and contour. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronze and this one is an icon. I use this to contour my nose. It's the perfect shade for my nose contour. So while I am baking, I'm going to cover the cream contour that I did with a powder contour. So it sits. And then another color from Glamour Bronze Morphe. This one is Mega Star, and this is the medium shade. Icon is the lighter shade. This one is my bronzer. I'm gonna use JH04 from Morphe. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes. They're actually pretty good. I've been using them. I have the whole set. They went 25% off on Labor Day. I got them. So basically, I'm just setting the contour that I put. For my eyebrows, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. This is in medium brown. Recently discovered this eyebrow pencil and I like it so far. This is my current go-to eyebrow pencil. Done with my eyebrows. I might go back to retouch them later on, but now let's go to the eyes. For today's palette, I'm going to use this So Jaded palette. This is the new palette from Color Pop. I haven't tried it. I didn't swatch it yet, so it's all intact. No, I lied. I swatched Diamond because it's so pretty. This is the palette right here. That's Diamond that I swatched and the rest I haven't swatched yet. I think they're so pretty. This palette is very unique. Although I find it hard to actually use them. It's very random. There's a lot of colors in the palette. I don't know if this goes like four here or goes down here or goes like this, but it seems like you can use four here and then four there and then four here. That works when you see it that way, like four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. All right, for today's look, I've been creating a lot of reddish looks in my past videos. I think I got two videos, four videos that I created like red look because it's fall and I like wearing red eyeshadow. I think it's very sultry and also it's mysterious and I like it on brown eyes. That's why I use them a lot. I see a lot of red shades here that I want to pick on. <laughs> I'm gonna go with these four shades right here. To prep my eyes, I'm going to use, of course, MAC Paint Pot. This is in Painterly. I'm just gonna put some in my eye. I don't set this. I don't put any powder on my eyelid. It lasts longer and the eyeshadow stick better if I don't set it. Now, some people, they like to set it. This one, I feel like it's cream to powder, so it's better not to set it with powder. All right, so let's start. Okay, first shadow, I'm going to use this Amethrin. Amethrin is a mauve shade with glitters. It has like gold glitters. I'm using JH32. This one is from Morphe again. I'm gonna use 
Amethrine on my crease and use it as my transition shade. With this kind of shadow, when you blend it, you don't really see the glitters. So do not expect the glitters to show up when you're doing the blending motion like this. But if you pack it, packing motion, like dab it, it will show and it will stick on your primer. I don't really need the glitters to show right now. It's fine if it doesn't show up. This is gonna be my trans transition shade okay I'm gonna zoom you guys in that looks so pretty I like this color I feel like mauve colors complement a lot of skin tones I'm getting sick coral is sick Kingston is sick too we're all we all have cough Alright, I think that's very pretty. Next color I'm going to use JH33 from Morphe again. I'm going to use this shade right here. It's Garnet. I'm going to place Garnet right here at the outer corner of my eye. And also place it in the inner corner. Ooh, it's, this is very pigmented. You guys have to be careful with this one. It's a lot of pigment. And then whatever is left on my brush, I'm going to bring it at the center, like on top. I'm not gonna touch in the middle. Blend it and connect this halo. And then I'm gonna start blending it upwards, like circle motion. So windshield wiping motion, and now little circles going upwards. Just blend it. With my Luxie 131 brush, this is the mini angled brush. I'm going to get my third shade, which is fluorite right here. Then I'm gonna put fluorite in the middle of my eyelid right here. Right, I'm gonna use my finger and dip in that shade again. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go back to my JH33 that has Garnet shade and blend right on the halo. Just blending Garnet and fluorite, is that what it's called? Yeah, fluorite. And also getting a little bit of Garnet and deepen the shade. Intensify that red. I did another red. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get a really small flat brush. I'm going to get that Moonstone. This is the shade Moonstone. I'm gonna use it at the inner corner of my eye. Also gonna pop Moonstone under my brows. bit with my finger. Moonstone has a little bit of blue flecks, like blue glitters in it and it's so pretty. It's so pretty but you know what? Can I put a little bit of Moonstone at the center? Just a pop. I'm gonna sweep off the powder under my eyes. Next, I'm going to get JH38. This is a small pencil brush. I'm going to get the shade Amethrine and put that under my eyes. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna get Garnet. This is a very pigmented shade, so you guys be careful. I'm gonna put that under my eye as well and connect from my lower lash to my upper here at the corner. I'm just gonna do half like that. I'll do it on the other side. Connect it on top. And then I'm gonna get the JH32 again with Amethrine. I'm gonna get the same color packet in my brush. Go under my eye to smoke everything out. Get more Moonstone. Intensify that Moonstone shade in the inner corner of my eye. 
You know what? I'm gonna use my finger. There we go. Next, I'm going to tight line my lower water line with this LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Day Auto Liner. This is in the shade Super Bright and it's a peach shade. This is going to brighten my eye, hence the name Super Bright, right? So look at this. My eyes look bigger here compared to this side right here. It's a pretty cool trick. I'm going to put eyeliner, of course. I'm gonna use Glamnetic. This is phenomenal. I still can't believe this. I'm obsessed with this magnetic eyeliner lashes that works. It's Glamnetic. Check them out. It's in my description box. It's so easy to use. This eyeliner is so easy to put, no problem. It just glides on really quick. It's amazing. Next, I'm going to put some mascara. I'm gonna use the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Mascara. All right, I'm gonna apply mascara on my lower and upper lashes and I'll be back. All right, so I'm done with mascara, eyeliner. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to use this shade right here. This is Diamond and this is a pressed Super Shock shadow. It is super reflective like this and what I'm gonna do is just gonna put that and tap it right on top of my eyeshadow. Look at that, so pretty, oh my gosh. You guys see, it made my eyeshadow look so good, wow. So pretty. You can actually use this for highlight too. It reminds me of Rihanna's highlighter. Um, how many carrots? For my blush and I'm going to use my Morphe blush palette. This is blush palette. This is the warm, warm blush palette. And there's a cool tone one. If you guys like cool tone blushes, I tend to pick up warm tones because my skin is warm. This one is my favorite right here. Let's see. It's very pigmented. Oh, so pretty. I'm gonna put that on my cheeks and right on my contour for blending, right half of my contour right here. All right, and then I just put random blush everywhere. I'm gonna turn my blush brush, turn it around and pick up this shade right here. It's a metallic one. I'm just gonna pick a little bit and put it right on top to make my blush pop. It's a blush topper. So pretty. I'm just gonna put that everywhere too. <laughs> Alright, at this point, I'm going to spray. I'm going to use, of course, I'm obsessed with this one now. <laughs> at first, I didn't get it. I didn't like the smell and I didn't like how it has a sticky feel. But as soon as I saw the natural look on my face, I got it. I knew the vision of Jeffree Star and why he created this setting mist. It's my favorite now. <laughs> I feel like when you use this spray, you don't use too much. When I use the original, I spray three times to get that natural looking skin. Like that dewy but not oily look. So this one, just one time. Look. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you guys tell? Oh my god, I love it. Next, I'm going to put my eyelashes and you know, my eyeliner is magnetic. So I'm just gonna pop it. Last time I used Lush, today I'm gonna use Love Lash. It's the more natural one. It's the most natural among the collection. This is the Love Lash from Glamnetics. This is magical, I'm just gonna pop it. <laughs> oh, it's already sticking right there. That's it. <laughs> it's so easy to use. You just pop it once and it's there. This one is a natural looking one. It's so pretty. The flare right here. It's so pretty. Isn't it so easy? I can't believe it how easy to put eyelashes now. I used to procrastinate like not to use lashes. Sometimes I skip it just because I'm lazy to do it. But now it's so easy. All right, that's so pretty. All right, for my lipstick, for my lips. All right, I'm going to use Kim Kardashian KKW Nude Number no. One Lip Liner. Nude Number. No. I shouldn't talk. So I'm gonna use KKW 
Beauty nude number one. I do overline my lips, so sometimes on my pictures on Instagram, you could tell that I overline my lips. I have big lips, but I don't really have big lips. It's just all makeup. Look at the difference. This and here. I look like I have big lips, but it's all lip liner. All right, okay, so that's the lip liner. It's perfect, right? It's so perfect. I don't want to touch it anymore. <laughs> but um, now I'm just gonna put some lip gloss and this lip gloss is from Patrick Ta. She's an influencer, the Major Glow Collection and Major Glow Highlighting Mist. This one is, we love her. This one is the Pink Pearl. I'll just put lip gloss. I love this. It has the perfect amount of purple, blue glitters. It's so pretty. I love this. I love lip liners and gloss right now. I don't know. I used to love like just matte lipstick these days. I love a good lip gloss. Like that glittery lip gloss with blue purple glitters in it. I love that. We're going to use the Patrick Ta Major Glow Highlighter Mist. Ooh, look at that. It's so pretty. Oof. 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 Mm. You guys see? What? Okay, hold on. Oh, so pretty. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god. Oof. The smell though, oh my god. I'm so scared to put this on my face. Maybe my body is fine and it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm glowing. This is so nice when you're going to the ball. Maybe next military ball, I'm gonna use this. Oh my gosh, obsessed. This is the Prisma Glow Highlighter from Dominic Cosmetics and it has a nice mirror. One is cream highlighter and three is amazing unique highlighters that I've never seen before. Especially this one, it has like, I can't describe it. It has dual chrome. They're all dual chrome, I think. And then they have glitters, like micro glitters. They're so pretty. Especially this one is pink. I don't like pink highlighters, but this one, exemption. I love it. What I do is I mix the three of them. Like it's so pretty right there. And if I swatch them, <sighs> can you guys see? Oh, wow. She's so good. She is so good. Bridge of my nose and then the tip of my nose. Just a little bit on my forehead. And then that's it. <laughs> good makeup day today. I love how it came out. And the eyeshadow is bomb. Eyelashes. They're so easy to use. They don't take away my eyeshadow. They don't take away my artistry. Alright guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you like this look. If you recreate this look, tag me on Instagram or send me a message. Direct message me on Instagram. Send me a photo of you. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your comments on my channel, watching my videos. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Also subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Ring that notification bell for more upcoming videos. Check out the description box if I have giveaway. I usually have giveaways. Check them out. Alright guys, my name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen. See you in my next video. Bye!